everybody, it's Olivia, aka Livy, aka Miles, your friendly neighborhood androgynist. And yes, she had to look that up to see what it was. And this is Dr. Haley. Dr. Haley. MD. Yeah. She has a PhD. Um, yeah, a PhD. It's just the letter P uh, in HD. It's better than mine, though. Hers is in HD. It's in standard definition. I have a PSD. The Photoshop file. Okay, so let's get to the actual point. Yes, we so. are teaching you guys how to factor trinomials. Woo! Woo! Okay, so I'm gonna be showing you the first step. Yes. But first, you want to set up a three by three grid, basically. So it's. Nine squares. Yeah, I'll show you. One is flashing on the screen right now. Perfect. Ta-da. Like that. Mm -hmm. And so with the equation we have, it's 4x squared minus 4x minus 15, which we got from our springboard book. Thank you, springboard, for killing us and making us sad. Yeah. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to figure out which terms are which, which is term A, B, and C. So we figured that out, and I'll show you. And then you put term A in the A box term C in the B box, and then you multiply them together to get whatever goes in box C. Amazing. Right now, term B isn't really used. So here's what we did. We wrote out our equation, figured out which one was which, put A and A, C and B, and multiply them together to get negative 60 in the C box. And that's the first step. Bring our proof. All right, the second step is we're going to figure out what is in the D and E boxes. So, for box D and E, what you're going to do is you're going to need to find uh, two factors that when multiplied together become box C, and then when added together become term B. Term, not box. Yes. Uh, what we did is that we added a little one underneath the terms. Um, just so then you can separate them from the boxes. And so ours were negative 10 and 6 because negative 10 times, t times 6 is negative 60 and negative 10 plus 6 is negative 4, which is term B. Ta-da! Okay, and now the third step. So the third step, we're finding out what goes in the G box, which we'll put the labels on the flashing box that was up a little while ago, where you saw the letters. Mm -hmm. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Okay. So we're finding out what goes in the G box. And the G box is the A box, and the E box is G, C, F, which is the greatest common factor. So this is what we got because the greatest common factor of four and six is two. We did our little work down here and we just put it in the box, the G box. And step okay. four. Step four. So for step four, we're going to be figuring out what to put in box F, which is showing up on the screen right now. So, in order to find box F, what you need to do is you need to figure out box, or what times box G equals box A? So G is two and A is four in this particular equation. So two times what is four? Well, two times two is four, so you would put two in box F, as you can see here. Okay, now for step five. So with step five, we're figuring out what goes in the H box, which is basically just what we did with the last box, F. So we're finding out two, um, box F times what equals box D. So in this case, it's two times what equals negative 10. And we got negative five. Yeah, so negative five in H. Okay. And the second to last step, it's a lot like the other ones that we were doing. Uh, you just need to find out um, what G, G times what 
equals E in order to get I. So E is six, or yeah, E is six and G is two. So two times three is six, so we put three in the I box. Okay, and now for the last step. It's different than all the other steps we've done so far. So, I'm gonna jump to you first because it's a little hard to explain. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this oval-like thing around boxes F and I. Then we're also gonna wrap it around G and H to make like a band-aid, like band-aids crossed over. So when you do that, you're gonna take whatever is in those boxes and you're gonna flip them into the equation Fx plus I times GX plus H. So whatever F is, you're gonna multiply it by X and add I. And then you're gonna times it by G, whatever number G is, times X and you're gonna add H, like that. So in this case, it'd be 2X plus three times 2X minus five. And we didn't do plus negative five because it seems just simpler to do minus five because it's the same thing. Yeah. And now we have our question finished, but we have one last thing to say to our math teacher, Mrs. Jensen. Hi, stop drinking your coffee and eating your yogurt or whatever. To pay attention to this, because this is very, important. very life or death stuff. Yeah. Here is the very important note. Extra credit. to pretend to awkwardly talk as our credits roll and our theme song plays. It's your friendly neighborhood androgynist, and yes, I did have to go. I did have to Google that word. She had to. I did have to do 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 <laughs> this is for the bloopers at the end. Okay, go ahead. Okay. <coughs> Red leather, yellow leather. Okay. What? <laughs> it's a thing you do. Just go. Okay. Cause no number is more common than the number two. Yes. Two is in everything. So you find the GCF, you put in that box, and then ta da! You're done including with the third step. Two is in a lot of things, including the number of dance dates I don't have. <laughs> that was sad. It's also true. Olivia is free for the dance on Wednesday. I'm beautiful, I'm talented, and I'm extremely annoying, so... If you're looking for an annoying person who knows useless facts that no one needs to know... Woo! Olivia. And knows how to make and annoying noises. Just Olivia, not me. I'm not involved. Olivia to five. <laughs> Don't want to wait for the cops to arrive. Box H is negative five. Move over. <laughs> Love and living calendar. <laughs> yeah! You only got to do that because I got pushed. Catch me if you can. And here's Olivia with step six. 